Wolfhard is perhaps best known for playing Mike Wheeler in Stranger Things, and now he's starring in a drama comedy movie called When You Finish Saving the World, directed by none other than Jesse Eisenberg. A first trailer for Stranger Things star Finn Wolfhard's new movie was released very recently, and by the looks of it, we think it's probably going to be an emotional roller coaster. Stay tuned while we tell you guys all about it. First things first, what's the movie about? When You Finish Saving the World's official synopsis explains how Evelyn and her oblivious son Ziggy look for substitutes for each other while Evelyn desperately tries to parent an unassuming teenager at her shelter, and Ziggy fumbles through his pursuit of a brilliant young woman at school. The film follows Evelyn's life as she tries to keep things running smoothly while also delving into her relationship with her teenage son Ziggy. The first trailer emphasizes the pair's strained relationship, most notably Ziggy's annoyance at his mother interpreting his live streaming of music to an online fan base. However, the arrival of another mother and son at the shelter causes Evelyn to reconsider her relationship with Ziggy, and she attempts to form a bond with her son. When You Finish Saving the World will be released in the United States on January 20, 2023. A UK release date has yet to be confirmed. When You Finish Saving the World is Jesse's directorial debut, and it premiered at the Sundance Film Festival earlier this year. The film has mostly received positive reviews, with the Rotten Tomatoes fresh rating of 66%. The drama comedy film is based on Jesse's 2020 audio drama, which was inspired by his desire to write a book about a father who is indifferent to his child. He told Variety he was able to have the very freeing experience of writing everything he wanted to write, knowing that people are going to take it in the way they're going to. Moving on, what was Jesse Eisenberg's inspiration behind the film? Jesse Eisenberg has never been satisfied with just acting. That's why he's been exploring other creative outlets such as writing plays and prose fiction. But when he got the idea for When You Finish Saving the World, his upcoming directorial debut starring Julianne Moore and Finn Wolfhard, he knew it was finally time for him to come make his own film. Jesse said in an interview with IndieWire during the Sundance Film Festival that all his plays take place in a living room, but this one couldn't because he wanted to show what it looks like inside a domestic violence shelter. He added that he wanted to portray the complexity of working in the social services sector as best as he could, and all that stuff came came together in what he thought an original movie could be. All of this eventually led Jesse to direct the film himself. Up next, high praise for the upcoming film. IndieWire's David wrote in a Sundance review for When You Finish Saving the World that the movie does a good job of showing how Evelyn's obsession with Kyle is even more clearly doomed than Ziggy's obsession with Lila. But as assuming as it is that these characters step on rakes in slow motion and as brutal as it is to hear them stab at their own kin across the dinner table. For example, the line, you were going to be one of the good ones, is the kind of thing a mother can't unsay to her son. Even the film's most wince-inducing moments ultimately reframe the way Ziggy and Evelyn think of each other. He went on to say that while Jesse's debut may suggest a version of Lady Bird told from Kyle's point of view, the film we get is about holding on. It's the story of Ziggy and Evelyn learning to make space for themselves in their relationships with other people, and to make space for other people in their relationships with themselves. Moving on, here is some news on another Stranger Things star. Noah stopped in his college campus at random for a chance to win $50 in a YouTube video and for a moment it seemed like he completely forgotten the fact that he was a millionaire. First, let's talk about how Noah wanted a down-to-earth life despite his fame. Despite being one of the world's most famous former child stars, Noah Schnapp has always managed to maintain a sense of normal see in his life. The actor, now 18, rose to prominence at the age of 11 after landing the role of Will Byers in the Netflix series Stranger Things. His star power and public profile have steadily grown over the years, and he now has an impressive 31 million TikTok followers and 27 million Instagram followers. It was reported that he earned $250,000 per episode of Stranger Things in the most recent season, up from $20,000 per episode in season 1. As a result, Noah has an estimated net worth of $3 million dollars, but his fame and fortune haven't stopped him from trying to live a normal adolescent life. In fact, Noah worked as a lifeguard part 
time over the summer, telling Flaunt at the time that it was kind of just for a fun thing, and that he's kind of grown up with the normal life and normal friends outside of Stranger Things, so it's kept him grounded. The job was merely a warm-up for college, which he began in the fall. Noah shared an emotional video of himself jumping for joy after being accepted to the University of Pennsylvania last December. While he could have easily afforded his own private accommodations, Noah planned to get the full college experience by sharing a dorm, eating in the dining hall, and using the communal showers. Moving on here's what happened. Noah appears to have blended in with normal college life a bit too well. Judging by the video of the star being caught on camera getting overjoyed at the chance of winning $50. Quack Nation, a YouTube channel, posted a video earlier this month in which Aaron stopped a random University of Pennsylvania students to see if they could answer five high school level economic questions. He offered $50 to anyone who answered all five questions correctly, and $10 to those who answered four out of five correctly. And multi-millionaire actor Noah had happened to be one of the students he stopped. He enthusiastically introduced himself as Noah when Aaron asked for his name in the video. The star then explains that he is a first-year student at the school studying entrepreneurship and innovation, and Aaron says he's going to ask Noah five questions, each one getting more difficult. The catch being if he got five out of five right, Noah would get $50. Noah answered four of the questions correctly, admitting that he might have an unfair advantage because he's currently learning about many of the topics in class class, but he stumbles when it comes to the $50 question. Which president established the Federal Reserve System? Noah immediately admits he has no idea, wondering if it could be a name he'd recognize as something more obscure. Eventually, Noah guessed George Washington, and when Aaron corrected him by giving him the answer, Noah admitted that he never would have guessed it. Even though he didn't win the $50, Noah did win $10 for correctly answering the majority of the questions, and despite the fact that this was only 0.004% of what he earned per episode on Stranger Things, Noah was clearly still overjoyed. Now, let's talk about how fans love Noah for his humble nature. Needless to say, fans found the whole thing enduring, while many commenting on Noah's antics throughout the video. One person commented about how Noah seems to forget he's even a celebrity. Another wrote about the way Noah got so excited about just $50 even though he's paid about $250,000 for each Stranger Things episode. A third person echoed that Noah being excited about $50 like he's not a multi-millionaire was the best thing they'd seen. One more added that the way he took the $10 when he definitely had millions in his bank account was hilarious. Someone else wrote about how Noah's so humble and definitely seems like a cool guy. Lastly, this isn't the first time Noah's won fans over his quirky behavior. And this isn't the first time Noah has seemingly forgotten he's a celebrity, with the actor causing a stir in 2018 when he joined Millie's Instagram Live and immediately began complaining about his mother. He vented to his co-star about how his mom had been texting him about how done she was and had lost her patience, which resulted in her taking away Noah's laptop and phone. Noah's co-star quickly reminded him that thousands of people were watching as she exclaimed and told him they were on live, which prompted him to sheepishly reply and say that he forgot. He said hi to everyone before leaving the stream. Noah was also seen getting excited by an Instagram live between two Love Island stars over the summer, proving that he truly is just like us. Never change, Noah. That's a wrap for this video. Do you think Finn Wolfhard's movie is going to be as good as the rest of his work? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. We'll see you in the next one.